Hey guys, what is up? It is Will, and I am back with another video. So, in this video, as stated in my life guide, I still have my fire, ice, storm, and my new arrival, uh, my balance, is currently in Lemuria right now, so give me a day or two and it'll be ready. Um, but yeah, so today is our fire guide. Um, again, I just want to preface that 90% of these bosses only require DPS so this is gonna be the same through all of my builds they're all gonna be DPS builds and I feel like in that direction that we're going it's gonna stay that way until we have like a boss like Malastair or um, like the Chrysalis boss or just like stuff like that where not everybody has to be hitting I wanted to go back there I miss it I miss my life I got Pigsy I want to use it. <laughs> Let me use it. Anyway, let's get into our stats. So, we start off with 204 damage. I use the Fire Gulcher, which puts me at 207. Uh, we have 57 myth damage, 30 resistance, 35% accuracy, 730 critical rating, 436 block, 54 armor piercing. That is, I don't think I've seen that yet. Uh, 15 stun resist, 559 pip conversion, 101 power pip, 100% shadow, not 100%, 100 shadow pip rating, 180 arch mastery rating, 9,425 health, 468 mana, 246,020 gold, and 324 crowns. <laughs> um, yeah, so... These are the best stats that I could find personally. I know that there are some guides out there that have like 219 for fire, but I'm not that, I'm not that, it. it's it's not that deep. <laughs> You're still going to be hitting in the same damage range that you would 219 damage, if that makes any sense. So, let's get right on to it. So we start off with the Primordial Aeon Helm. Again, in my life video, I stated that I'm not going to bother with pins until we have a point in time in a world where we need to be dual damaged. I personally like when I make a fire, I want to stay with fire. When I make a life, I want to stay with life. So that's where, I don't know, this is where my disagreements come in. I don't, it could be useful and cool, but I really have absolutely no desire to learn storm on my fire or myth on my fire. And I just kind of like things how they were. Um, but yeah, so with the robe, we went for the blazing, oh my god, the blazing skyfarer's garb. Uh, this had the most damage that I could find. I have not really done a lot of research into the Nightmire pack. That could be better, but I, again, have not tried. Skyfarer seems to be the universal robe among all schools. Um, but yeah, so then we have the Primordial Aeon boots. Excellent. 42 damage you gotta love to see it we have the primordial aeon sword that one it's disappointing because i was hoping for like a big change in stats on the wand but this is pretty much a carbon copy of the merciless wand aside from block crit pip conversion and stuff like that so it's disappointing but i i understand why they're doing it um, so we have the Primordial Aeonathame socketed with health, double pierce, and accuracy. I love the fact that these stats come so naturally now. Like, 150, I was struggling to get perfect accuracy and perfect power pip. And some wizards, I didn't even have those on there because I gave up. But every single one of my characters, just by equipping Aeon will get perfect pip so all i need to care about is accuracy and i really love that so for the amulet we have talisman of the day star there is probably a better amulet out there uh but because i'm starting to dip my toes into um raiding and stuff like that i heard you need a lot of block for that so mine is or not block a lot of pierce for that so mine as well i have the morganth dark charm the og but that one is better, so I'm using that one. Uh, so for the ring, we have the Primordial Aeon Ring. 
I am so happy at the pip chance. I love it. I love the damage. I love the crit. I socketed health, pierce, and stun resist. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so for the pet, we're still sticking with Remy. We have our Quint uh, Wise Hardy Pegasus. Um, I love him. I will never ever give him up or until the next <laughs> um, <laughs> cool looking pet comes out. But I mean, it just goes with so many people's stitch and it's so easy to go together. And that's why I really like it. Um, but yeah, so with the mount, we will obviously have the fire culture, uh, which will again put us at 207. And then for our deck, we have the primordial Aeon deck. I plan on equipping the Arch Mastery socket um, so I can get more Arch Mastery rating. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so in total, that brings us up to 193, almost 200. Look at us go. Um, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying these shorter videos. It's less opportunities to mess up. <laughs> um, let me know what you think about the stitch. I know it's really basic, but for the time being, I kind of like it. I definitely think I'm going to do more black overtones, but yeah, I really like it. Um, and you might see some changes in the future. If not, whatever. Love the badge. We'll never, ever take that off. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys want to see Ice, Storm, or Balance next. And I will see you guys in the next video.